Now, have you ever thought about building your own house? You'd have to buy the land, get an architect, buy the materials, the list goes on. But earlier in the summer, I went on a course which teaches you how you can build your own place from mud. Now, it's pretty easy to do, it's cheap, and it's something you can do yourself, as long as you don't mind getting just a little bit mucky. Okay, hi, welcome everybody. This is so exciting. We've got a whole five days. We're gonna to to build a bit of a house and you're gonna go away feeling like you can build a cob house. So this is really exciting. Um, Kate Edwards builds houses from mud. She's passionate about earth houses and wants more people to learn how to make them. But could mud be the building material of the future? Most of these students have no building experience, but Kate is convinced that she can teach them in just five days. And she's so confident, she's trusting them to build the extension on her own home. And she's going to try to convince me. Building with mud is nothing new. Her cottage in Norfolk is 300 years old and built from mud dug from the garden. This is the old house and this is the new extension that we're going to be building onto the house. So you're going to be helping me to build my house, which is fantastic. <laughs> you're very trusting. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> the walls will be made of cob, which is just sand and clay, with some straw to hold it together. And to mix it, well, our students have to do the cob dance. There's going to be a lot of dancing to make enough cob to build the extension. Hey, isn't it lovely and soft? It's really nice. It's got a really pliable and sticky consistency now. Okay, now this is a very highly technical bit again. Um, grab a handful, slap it on the wall. Okay, use one hand. <laughs> Just use this hand here, just to keep it going straight up. We want it flat and straight because then you've got something straight to build onto, on top of. So you literally. Ah! <laughs> 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 oh. Let's get building. Just pressing it down. So use your body weight. Get over it. So you put your body weight on top of it. Press it down. Use your hand. Cob anybody? No. Isn't it a bit cheeky getting us students to build your extension for you? Well, it is cheeky, but a lot of people have said to me that they actually prefer to build something real as opposed to a mock-up of a wall. <laughs> They're actually building something real, so it gives them a sense of achievement. I love that slapping noise. Wow. You're going to earn your cup of tea and a bit of cake soon, aren't you? <laughs> right, it's day two. And today we're also building with straw. Straw bales are fantastic insulation, as you know, but they have to be fitted snugly, OK? They have to be really snugly fitted in order for them... So bales are cut now, to size and shaped to fit. I'm just literally going to saw it. That's all there is to it. You just cut yourself a nice niche, just like that, and that's going to fit nicely into here. I'm just going to slide this bale right in position, snuggle it in against the post, so no air escaping through the post. When we finish the bales, the next job is to plaster them. That'll do. Perfect. With more cob. Wherever you are in the world, you can dig it from the earth and build your own house. How fantastic is that? It can't be any more environmental than that. There's no transportation, no manufacture of materials. There's no energy gone into it. You're just literally digging it and making a house with your bare hands. Fantastic. It's just absolutely beautiful. I just love it. This is a green way of building, especially compared to using concrete. But could we see housing estates built out of clay? Let's hope it fits now. I think there is a huge future for, for clay and all sorts of natural materials. Uh, if you look at clay um, and, and the, the qualities that it brings to buildings, you find that it's fireproof, it's relatively good 
uh, as a load-bearing material in smaller structures and it can be used with other materials if necessary. So it meets all of the needs of an urban area. Concrete is made of cement and cement manufacture accounts for 9% of world carbon emissions. And as carbon taxation comes, obviously it is going to come, so all these natural materials are going to become much more sought after. There are some drawbacks when building with clay. Bit of a light summer shower. Now there is a danger that the walls could wash away, so they're getting the walls covered now with some tarpaulin. Cob houses can't be built in heavy rain, but once finished, they are fully weatherproof. Traditionally, um, what they say is a good hat and a good pair of boots. So a nice overhanging hat and uh, a good pair of boots. In other words, a good foundation with a gravel trench will stop the moisture coming up and a good hat will protect it from the rain. <laughs> uh, keep the hat and the boots, you're, so you're sorted. Now, even though we've been working really hard on the project, the extension won't be finished by the end of this course. So Kate has brought us here to show us one she made all, earlier. All these walls were derived directly from this trench, so we didn't bring any other material onto this site. This is uh, extra, it's, oh, it's awesome. It's uh, inspiring, beautiful, simple. It's everything that you think that you might be able to extract from a cob building. It is a bit scary to think it's such a big job, but I think what you get at the end is worth, worth going through it. And also the process is fun. In five days, we've learnt to mix cob, build with it and use straw bales. The last stage is applying clay plaster. But has it converted a new generation to cob? Press it hard, look. Bit of force, maybe even use two hands. Mm. I don't think I'd like to build them until I'm uh, <laughs> old and grey, but, uh, or greyer. I'm certainly going to give it a go. In terms of learnt loads, um, this is actually very possible and very feasible and something I can do. So from that, it's sort of an idea of something I'd like to do to something that's definitely doable. Look at that beauty. To celebrate the end of the course, homemade pizzas cooked in a homemade oven. From Cobb, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and some students are convinced mud is not just a building material for the future, it's a way of life. I want my kids to, to grow up in an environment that is, that is sustainable, that is um, really very much part of uh, a sustainable lifestyle. If everybody did a little bit, then the future for everybody would be an awful lot better than it is now. When we went to the we went to the um, Kate's Roundhouse that she'd built, and it just felt like you were sitting in a big hug, you know. It was just lovely, just so natural and so grounded. And I think, yeah, you know, I want want that all the time. So um, it's lovely. I've really enjoyed this week. I've learnt a lot about cobbing. But I'm not sure I'd be confident enough to build myself a house, certainly without supervision. Though I may take on something a bit smaller, like a pizza oven. But a small.